This record was taken just two days ago in the Highland Crags. It seems the goblins there have progressed from being a minor nuisance to somehow being able to take down a highly fortified outpost. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. And Doctor, thank you for hosting this gathering. How did these goblins progress in such a short time from bows and arrows to tanks and guns? Where are they based? And how can we remove the threat they pose? We must immediately mount an expedition to discover whatever we can. Do we have any volunteers? The crags, huh? That's deep in goblin country. I can get you all in. I'm less sure I can get you all out again. Victor. Victor Industries welcomes the opportunity to field test the latest model of our security robots. While human strength is, of course, desirable, the expedition will need something far more powerful to take on those goblin weapons. The high-tech armaments of these robots should prove invaluable in accomplishing the mission. Any other volunteers? Well then, it seems Ryder and Victor will be our expeditionary force. <clears throat> Yes, Doctor? Before any final decision is made, I would like to show you all a little something I've been working on. Come! Uncle! Hey, how you been? Good. The doctor keeps me busy, though. Huh? I gotta go set up. I'll see you later. Okay. <sighs> Begin. Just go slow, little buddy. You'll be fine. What you see before you is my ultimate creation. Knack. of some unknown civilization that power our machines and make our way of life possible. We excavate the relics from deep underground, then use them to power our cars, our planes, our generators. The discovery of this source of perpetual energy has changed our lives completely. spent decades learning the secrets of the relics and how to bring them to consciousness. The result is Knack, a living, thinking, breathing creature. Knack, pick up those relics. As you can see, Knack is capable of explosive growth.
Neck, shrink down and go through that duct. Neck can power up by absorbing the energy contained within sunstones. Once energized, he can release the power of the sunstones explosively as a massive shockwave. Neck, use the shockwave to take out those robot shields. Most impressive, Doctor. You call it Knack, is that right? Actually, I call myself Knack. Impressive? <laughs> he seems a little delicate to me. When we go after the goblins, we'll face challenges far deadlier than those slow-moving buckets of bolts. What exactly are you getting at, Victor? Well, I brought a few of my security robots with me. If Knack can get by those, then I'll grant he has a place in the expedition. Hmm, can do. Let's take this to the garden. There's a bit more room. So, you think Nat can do it? We'll see now, won't we? So, Victor, you still think I'm too delicate? <laughs> it seems the doctor will be joining us after all. But you want him to come, and you want him to bring Knack. <laughs> what a wonderful demonstration, Doctor. Yes, Knack must join us in our expedition. I wonder what Charlotte would have thought of Knack if she were still around. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Hurry up, lad. We don't have all day. Hey, Doc. Thanks for looking after my nephew. He's growing up so fast. Frankly, Ryder, it was easier when he was younger. Now he wants to know how and why and debate everything. It's really quite trying at times. <laughs> it sounds like you need a break. Why don't you let me take him for a few days? Oh, he's all yours. <laughs> Lucas! It's just you and me again. Uh, 
Now the tracks from those goblin tanks should still be visible. Keep a sharp lookout. Well, Mac, let the adventure begin. I can't wait. Well, my dear, wish us luck. The old crag mine. It's huge in there. The tunnels go on for miles. No telling what the goblins are up to. Let's land and take a closer look on foot. They've barricaded the entrance quite thoroughly. We'll need to find another way in. Splitting up should make that faster. Perhaps north, east, and west through the forest. We'll take the forest. Come on, Neck. Be on guard, Neck. These woods are full of dangerous creatures. Look. There's an old structure with some relics in it. The Goblin Village is across this lake and up that cliff. We're almost there. Almost there. We can check out the Ooh. Goblin Fort from the top of that rise. You know, maybe I should spend a little more time staying in shape, and a little less time inventing things like you. <laughs> it's a mystery. I can see the tanks, but nothing that looks like a major metalworking operation. There's no way the tanks were made here. The gate's open. Let's go down there and take a look around. What? It's time to wrap this up and go home. We're certainly not going to learn anything more by standing around up here. Lucas, you wait over here until we know that it's safe. Knack, look after him. Are you sure it's wise to go in there? They have to know we're coming. If it wasn't wise, I wouldn't be doing it. Huh. I'm seeing a tremendous number of relics that way. Must be everything they stole from the outpost and then some. Who are you? And what are you doing in my village? You attacked a human settlement. Did you think there would be no consequences? <laughs> consequences? The consequence is I got lots of relics and sunstones and other good stuff. And some unexpected visitors. Are you all they sent? We're enough. The high-tech armaments of these robots are more than capable- These tanks are very impressive pieces of machinery. <laughs> We were wondering where I got them, is that what you're after? Won't say, but since you're so interested in them, let me give you a closer look. Ah! Secure the gates!
Let's go see if there's any other way into the village. Look at those defenses. They sure don't want anybody getting near the village. Wait here. There's another gate. No tanks guarding this one. Yeah, but that's a lot of goblins to fight through, and they look tough. Well, I was thinking. See these broken icicles? I wonder if you could bulk up with these rather than relics. They're about the right size. The doctor says that's not possible. The arcane energies of your chest orb can interact only with the hyperdense material of the relics. The doctor says. Well, I say let's give it a try. What's to lose? Hup. See? Nothing happens. That one moved. It did? Okay... Cool! Ooh, I'm getting chills. Off for more. <laughs> it's a new look for me. What do you think? You look fierce. I feel fierce too, but I'm gonna have to hustle once I get out there. I figure I've got less than a minute before the sun melts me back down to size. Well, a minute might be enough. See the three crossbars on the gate? Uh-huh. The mechanisms that control them? Mm-hmm. Those are your targets. Got it. Guarding that building. I wonder if that's where they keep the relics and all the other things they stole. Hope so. It's been slim picking so far. I'll see you over there. Looks like you'll need to take the long way. Sorry. Seize him! Let's try that again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Knack! You're massive! I am at that. <laughs> Stick close now. Let's go find the others. I admit I didn't make the tanks, but this one's all mine. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. Let's hope it's sturdier than it looks, or this'll be a quick fight. <sighs> That's better. And peace is restored. Time to get back to more important matters. Peace? Who's peace? You drove us from our cities and into the wilderness. Were we supposed to just stay there forever? <laughs> Typical goblin always living in the past. Let's not rehash who attacked whose city first. Now. Where did the weapons come from? Gundahar made the weapons. And where can we find this Gundahar? <sighs> Not saying. He's scary. But Gundahar is terror. <laughs> Ryder, any thoughts? Well, if I know goblins, then I do. He won't like being in such a small space. Let's give him some time. I think he'll tell us everything we want to know. What the? Victor! Come pay me a visit at my home, Doctor. Until then. I'll stay here with the Chief and see what he has to say. You go. Get my nephew back.
Welcome, Doctor. It's a pleasure to have you here. Please come this way. Victor is expecting you. Hard to believe this is what destroyed 20 of our toughest robots. Believe it, Katrina. He's quite dangerous. Victor! Why did you kidnap my assistant? Doctor, don't be so melodramatic. I merely took him for a ride in my flyer. I needed your full attention, and I didn't think I'd be getting it out there in the woods. What about our mission? Uh, we were supposed to help those poor people. To find out where the goblins were coming from and prevent them from ever attacking us again. I was a volunteer. I put in my time. If you care so much, why don't you track down the rest of the goblins yourself and finish them off? Point of fact, I've been working on something much more interesting. Take a look. Yes, it's true. A single relic weighing more than a ton. Such a thing should not be possible, of course. Yet here it is before you. Where did you find it? It? I have dozens like this. We are on the verge of the next step of human evolution. The power of these giant relics will be the engine that drives it. But to take that next step, I need Knack. Knack? What's he got to do with this? Knack is the key. Which is to say, I need your pet. And I need him to be cooperative. No getting huge and nasty. No smashing everything in sight. What is he doing? Let's go! Clear the way, Nack. We'll be right behind you. Knack! Wait up! Those are security beams. And look, there's a discharge weapon too. If we break those beams, we're toast. Well, up won't get us out, but we can't stay here. Let's go. Take the fastest plane you've got, and go get them. <laughs> I can't believe he fell for the old remote-controlled plane trick. And now, time to see what Victor's up to with those relics. We're gonna need to find a way past those security beams, though. Doctor, what about our mission? Shouldn't we head back and join up with Uncle Ryder? Lucas, that's enough already. Ryder is doing everything that can be done at this time. No, what we need to do is find a way past those beams. Any ideas? Yeah. I think I might have something. Good. Hey, Knack. You see those patrol robots? They're using clear crystals in their spotlights. Let's go and disassemble about 20 of them. What exactly will that get us? It will just be easier to show you. We'll be right back. <sighs> Thanks for the save. I think that's enough. Knack, remember what you did with the icicles? I need you to move those crystals into your body the same way. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I didn't think it was possible. The arcane energies in Nack's chest orb can only interact with, with the, the hyperdense dense material of the relics. Yes, it's possible. Now, Nack, this next trick might be harder. I need you to concentrate and move whatever part of you is doing the thinking into the crystals. Just leave the relics behind. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> I 
present to you, Stealth Knack. Very nice. Now, I want you to get through those laser beams and shut them down. Remember, if the beams detect you, you'll be destroyed. Hey, Nack. How did it feel, Nack? Like I was sleepwalking. It's the strangest thing. Whatever I am doesn't want to be far from this for too long. It looks like he's using those giant relics in some kind of motor. That is a motor for a hovercar scaled up a thousandfold. With it, you could power an airship two miles long. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find around here. Ha! Now this looks promising. Bound to find a clue or two in here. I think you just want to get your hands on enough of those giant relics to build something of your own. Well, you're right, Lucas, I do. I haven't felt this excited in years, so I would appreciate it if you would help me figure out where they came from. Well, this does look like a schematic of a mine. Yes, all very detailed. It looks like he marked every spot where he found a giant relic. Uh, the deeper he went, the more he found, until his path was finally blocked by this door. <laughs> it must have been very frustrating for him. He only found enough relics to build that giant motor, and then no more. Doctor? Yes, Nack? I think I'm the key. Yeah, that's what Victor said. No. I think I'm really the key. See the holes in the door? Each of them is in the shape of one of my parts. There's my chest. There's my head. Victor thinks I can open that door for him. <gasps> oh, which leaves only one question. Where is the mine? It's Trogdo Mine. Huh? It has to be. Look. There's Victor's old castle up on the hill next to it. Oh, but this is wonderful! Time for us to get going. We caught up with the doctor's plane and brought it down, but it was empty. The plane was being flown remotely. Be on guard. We believe there's still somewhere on the palace. Yes. We never left. What are you trying to accomplish, Victor? Kidnap and mayhem just so you can build a bigger airship? So you saw the motor. Impressive, isn't it? Yet in another sense, it's simply a toy. Powerful as they are, there's only so much I can do with a few giant relics. But soon, I'll have unlimited numbers of them. Then you'll see what becomes possible. What? World conquest? <laughs> Nothing so mundane, I assure you. But Doctor, why are you here? Could it be that you feel the pull as well? You should be back in the Goblin Village with Ryder right now, trying to figure out where all those weapons came from. Yet, instead, here you are, breaking into other people's homes. Ah, reminds me of the Doctor of long ago, before Charlotte domesticated you. Don't you ever talk to me about Charlotte! That's enough. Victor, pack your bags. You're about to take a long vacation from this place. This way. Thank you, Katrina. We've got them on the run. They're heading for the roof. Guess we'll have to settle that score later. Well, we got what we came for. Oh, they brought my plane. How nice. Neck, Lucas, jump him back. 
Let's pay a visit to Trugdo Mine. I can't contact Ryder. So, just to recap, your plan is that we sneak in through a disused side entrance, travel undetected through several miles of active mine tunnels, at which point Knack will open the door. Oh, and we have no way to tell Ryder where we've gone or what we're up to. Yes, that's pretty much it. As for the contacting Ryder part... <clears throat> have you ever seen one of these before? Hollowbot? Indeed it is. Wherever he is, this will find him. Ryder, we've managed to get Lucas back, but Victor's up to something very strange. We're headed into Trogdo Mine to check it out. Huh. And now, into the mine. I haven't been down here in ages. Let's see what Victor's done with the place. Spider! Wow! <laughs> That's right, Lucas. Now you can see how real mining's done. Remove the earth, expose the structures, take the relics. Victor's family's been mining here for a hundred years. What are the force barriers for? Ah. Well, there are things that get very angry when we harvest the relics. Stay close, and let's hope we don't run into any of them. Wait! There's a guardian up ahead. Okay, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Oh, will you then? Where did the weapons come from? The way it works is this. We collect the relics. Then every so often, Gandahar comes this way in his airship, and we make a deal. Trade the relics for weapons. I don't know where he comes from. We just wait. What sort of airship? Well, it's hard to describe. Just take a look for yourself! <laughs> oh no. What happened here? Ha! Take a look at those structures! We've reached the area where Victor found the giant relics. And now, the moment of truth. <clears throat> Victor was right. Giant relics. And in tremendous numbers, too. Knack, it's time. Open the door. Ah. 
I'm not the key. Then what is? Very predictable, Doctor. You see, just as I said, all we had to do was wait, and they would come. Well, this is unfortunate. I was hoping to finally get past this barrier. So, what happens now? You've shown your resourcefulness simply by making it all the way down here, Doctor. I do hope you'll join me in trying to figure out how to get past this blasted door. But, Knack, if you're not the key, then you're far too much trouble to keep around. Take him out! Can't we just talk this over? Staying here while we sort things out. Beautiful room. It has the best view in the castle. Were we really so predictable, Katrina? <laughs> yes, you were, Doctor. You want the truth. It pains me. You have all that talent, and you can't find anything to do with it but projects like your unmanageable pet. Now, Victor, he has vision. You need to watch and learn. The world is about to change, and he'll be the one who changed it. The truth is, I hope you like this room, because you're not setting a foot outside of it until you wise up and start working with Victor rather than against him. Oh, and Lucas, you lost this during all the commotion. I thought you might want it back. Hmm. Wood. 
Oh yeah. I miss Charlotte terribly, you know. She really was my better half. She stopped me from putting some of my crazier plans into action. Lucas, I'm so sorry I got us into this mess. Yeah, me too. How long has it been since you lost her? Oh, about 20 years ago now. Way before you were born. I met her when we designed a car together. It was the perfect blend of beauty and muscle. By the time that car was finished, we were madly in love. Truth is, we found Nax Orb together, too. I'd been gathering relics in deep caves for years, trying to learn everything I could about their origins. And on one of the days Charlotte joined me, we made an amazing discovery. A few minutes later, the ground shook. One of those deep earthquakes that happen from time to time. Charlotte! And she fell into the depths. I hunted for weeks and weeks. But I never found a trace of her. And there's never been anybody else for you? <laughs> How could there be? She was smart, talented, and beautiful. You know, I've been keeping quiet, because I didn't want anyone to think I was losing my mind. But when I think of her work, like that car, and I think of the goblins' weapons and, and tanks, well, and I know this is crazy, but I see similarities. Well, if you say it's so, I believe you, but how? in the dark. Someone could get hurt. I might be small, but I'm much faster. Nah, I got you right where I want you. Now, who's next? Huh. Isn't it a little, uh, cold for a stroll? <laughs> Perhaps not for the Ice Queen, though. Funny, pretty boy. <laughs> It's actually quite warm. We've had a little impromptu bonfire. Oh, <laughs> yes, I noticed. So, where exactly can I find the doctor and Lucas? Last I looked, they were enjoying Victor's hospitality. 
So sorry to run. Duty calls. Hey. Hey. What the heck is that? That rider is the source of all our troubles. Victor found a couple dozen of these giant relics down deep in the mine. He's got big plans for them. Doctor wants them too. So, did you find out where the goblins were getting their weapons from? Who they got them from, yes. The source is some super goblin named Gundahar. Where they got them from? Don't know. They seem to have a factory somewhere. But they're so heavily armed, it's gonna be tough to get close. If we could just build a tracking device that... that looks like a relic. Then make sure that the, the goblins pick it up on their next raid. Well, then we could track them to wherever it is they call home. Hmm. Sounds good. Let's go get the doctor. Might run into your girlfriend, too, hey. while we're at it. You think I'm clever, right? Eh. You were here to rescue my nephew. Now get yourself captured. Yes, well, uh, things didn't go exactly as planned. Uh, thank you for the rescue. What are you thanking him for? I did all the hard work. Knack! You survived! Leaving so soon, Doctor? Ugh, hang tight. I'll be right back. Stop him. Uh, that woman. I know. Hey. Why don't you come to my place in Monteverde for a few days? I've got an idea I want to run by you. seems to have taken the kidnapping pretty well. Tough kid. Did you ever find out what Victor was after, exactly? Oh, yes. The key to this door. Beyond which lies the treasure of the ages. Giant relics of a size and power a hundred times what anyone has seen before. Now, whoever opens that door could do anything. Bring in a new golden age, rule the world. But the door is locked, and the key is lost. This door? Yes. <laughs> I've seen it. Or rather, I've seen a picture of it. Do you remember my solo expedition across the barren wastes? No. Well, in one of the temples I found, there was a mural. It covered the entire wall. And right in the middle of it was that same pattern. Well, what did the mural say? I don't remember, really. But we could go back and take a look at it. We'd have to make a bit of preparations, though, first. Unless you're feeling up to scaling a thousand-foot cliff. find their base. How? We just need them to pick up something that'll broadcast their location. Come inside and help me. Knack, get us some room to work.
over here. Great job, Knack. Check this out. The trackers look just like relics, don't they? Hmm. So, have we made enough? I hope so. Let's go spread some of these around town. Uh, Lucas, stay behind and make a few more. We might need them later. I would guess that's Gundahar's fleet. No need to have others pillage and plunder for you when you can do it yourself. Ryder, what do you see? Are they here to stay or just visiting? It looks like a smash and grab. Gathering up relics and sunstones and heading back out. Doc and I'll spread around the trackers and hope they pick one up. Knack, do what you can to keep my town in one piece. Will do. <laughs> Ryder, help me out here. If you were to build a tank, would you put tail fins on it? <laughs> no. So then tell me, what's going on here? Have you seen anything like this before? Charlotte's old car? Exactly. It's as if someone is dusting off Charlotte's old designs and... and militarizing them somehow. One more mystery to clear up when we meet Gundahar. Let's get going. Passion is commendable, but there's only so much damage you can do to a couple of tons of metal and stone. I just want to be sure the next time we meet Nack, it's the last. What you need is a little help from the boys in research and development. Come with me. There's something I think you'll enjoy seeing. What upsets me is that he didn't just outpower me, he outthought me too. It's nothing high caliber weaponry won't fix. <laughs> Darling, you really know how to talk to a girl. I just wish there was some way to get past that door. Well, as for that, I found us some extra help. Let me tell you all about it. Go on. Pick it up. Pick it up! Yes! <laughs> they took the bait. We can follow them home now. Gentlemen, leave the rest to me. We're counting on you, big guy. I've been wondering when you'd show your face. Your name Gundahar? Yes. I've been looking forward to meeting you, Knack. You're no human. Why do you work for them? Well, I'm no goblin either. Ah, but I can tell you love to destroy things. But there's plenty of that wherever I go. Come, join me. I get big. I break things. I can't help it. But what you do, this, is evil. Join you? Never!
so, you saved the best for last. Pretty. You want me to wait while you get in it? I'll warn you, I'm not in the most patient of moods. Get in it? <laughs> I'd only hold it back. This fighting unit is completely autonomous. All I need to do is unleash it. Then you'll have a great view as I reduce it to a shiny pile of scrap metal. Kill! <laughs> there to be defeated. Had enough? Yes, we are. Neck, it's time to complete our mission. Let's go destroy their army. Well, <laughs> what's left of their army? <laughs> After you've paid your visit to Gundahar, we'll see you in the barren wastes and hunt down that cave painting. Come on, Lucas. We've got an expedition to prepare for. just as we reach the edge of that cliff. Thank you, Charlotte. Knack? I think I can fix the motor, but taking off again is going to be quite the problem. Go and see what you can find in the way of relics. I'm going to need you to get as large as possible. <laughs> be careful, Knack. This is obviously Gundahar's territory. Hey, Doctor, take a look at this Guardian. Yes, it's fascinating. The Goblins have managed to create a thaumatic interface to the Guardian's neural matrix. He's under their control! Uh, yeah, that too. But did you happen to notice the giant box of relics he's carrying? You said get big, right? I get my hands on those relics. I'll show you big.
Katrina, when you proposed that we have the Doctor find the key for us, I was more than a little skeptical. But now you say they've found a clue. Amazing, isn't it? We spent years looking for the key and they might find it in a matter of days. Shouldn't we go after them then? They're doing so well. Let's have them do the hard work. When they're close to it, then we can swoop in and take it. In the meantime, you'll have a chance to finish a little project here. Doctor, the path leads into some caves. Hopefully more relics in there. Roger that. Remember, Nack, the mission is to get... I'm back. And I'm big. How's that engine? Let's see. Ah! <laughs> She's looking good. Pick up the plane. Okay. I think I know what comes next. That's right. Throw it. Are you sure about this? Just do it! Just a bit further now. Let's go in quietly this time. Understood. Ryder and Lucas have already reached the wasteland. Once we get wrapped up here, we'll go and join them. Ah. Oh. Knack, why don't you go and see what you can do about opening that gate? It certainly took a long time, and a great deal of effort, but we're finally here. Our target is nothing less than the complete destruction of Gundahar's manufacturing capability and all existing inventory of weapons. So, where would you like to start? Hmm... How about... That building. Ha! Good! This looks to be some kind of factory for weapons parts. <laughs> nice. Hello, Doctor. Charlotte! Uh, but, but how? 
Do you mean what happened after you left me to die? Wait, what? After I fell into the chasm, goblins found me and brought me to their leader, Gundahar. He nursed me back to health. Well, mostly anyway. This leg never really was the same again. But Charlotte, I searched for you for weeks. If I didn't find you, it's because you were already gone. So you say. It's the truth! So, what about all this? Gundahar needed my help, and I gave it to him. First I made better weapons and better armor, so he could defend himself against those goblin tribes that would hurt him. And later, I made other things. You know the weapons you have built have been used against our settlements. I know, now. I guess Gundahar took care of his enemies in the goblin tribes and began looking for a way to take revenge on humans for the Crystal Wars. As soon as I learned, I stopped. Charlotte, I am so sorry for everything. But whatever happened, we're together again now. Please, we don't have much time. Come with me. No. What? Why not? I've caused far too much suffering and destruction. I'm not fit for human company any longer. No, don't be silly. No! I see. If you ever change your mind, please, call me. No matter where I am, I will come for you. I promise. Goodbye, Doctor. Ooh. You're gonna need to stay far back so you don't get electrocuted. Better yet, I'll meet you up top that hill. I'm guessing that's where we'll find Gundahar. Electrocution here would be a fitting end. She doesn't love me anymore. Well, I'm no human, but it seems a bit more complex than that. Now you make sure you're long gone before the fireworks start. Get out! Get right, 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 right! I'm going already. Go on. Why me? I mean, I just lost the love of my life. <laughs> Finish the job. Why? You ask why. You destroy human outposts and invaded their cities. And for what? Sunstones and relics? Nack. I'm merely righting a wrong. Today, goblins live primitive lives in the forests and mountains. But before the Crystal Wars, we had our cities and our civilization. I simply seek to return to those times. And I'm simply here to show you that attacks on the humans will not be ignored. You are their tool! We have lived in the wastelands long enough. Destroy this monster. So many weapons. They've all got to go. Gundahar is directing operations from that tower. Hmm. Let's go have a chat with him. <laughs> Not 
not so fast. Okay, I got him. Now what? I wasn't sure that would work. What took me 20 years to build, your creature took 20 minutes to destroy. Do you love destruction so much, Doctor? When destruction brings peace, yes. Yes, I do. Even if I'm defeated, peace won't come. Goblins will rise against humans. What happened today won't prevent that revolution. No, but it will delay it. Some rebalancing has to happen, yes, but your way is not the way! Naughty, naughty. I will be back! <laughs> I'm sure he will at that. But we've fought a long time before he can build up again. Now, let's go find that key. He never listens to me. Well, the doc doesn't listen to most people. I wouldn't take it personally. Does he, uh, ever talk about your parents? No. You ever wonder why the doc takes care of you instead of me? Well, that's an easy one. You're never around. <laughs> that's true. I would make a very bad parent. I'm always wandering off somewhere. Lucas, you think you fight with the doc. My little sister. I mean, your mother. That was something to see. Half the time they worked together, she was telling him off about something or another. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, you take after her. You're smart. Uh, but that, that's not all. When you talk back to the doc, make him think about what it is that he's doing, that's when I'm the proudest of you. Just try not to judge him. He can't help the way he is. Proud of me, huh? Very. Come on, let's finish unloading, get some sleep. We got a big day tomorrow. Morning. It's done. Nack took out Gundahar's entire weapons operation. We can hunt for the key without distractions now. And we found Charlotte. Alive. What? She's alive. And she doesn't want me. What do you mean, alive? What happened out there? Well, that's a story for another time. So, where's the cave painting? Well, the path leads through those ruins and up that cliff. Pretty rough going. Lucas and I scouted ahead and did a bit of setup this morning. Well, good. Let's go. No time to waste. There's our destination. Well, now what? First time I came here, I free climbed it. <laughs> I figured that's not your style, so I put together a little something to help you out. <whistles> now, these aren't elevators. They can't rise until you get off them. So you'll have to do half of the work. Just think of it as climbing a very long staircase. Magnetic resonance? Could be. Whatever it is, something in those rocks is interfering with the platforms. Let's be careful. Yes, I survived their attack, but all our hard work was destroyed. That you brought upon yourself. You should never have used my creations against human settlements. They are our oppressors. And when you stopped your work, you hurt us all. With better weapons than these, we could have defeated them. With better weapons, Monteverde would be a smoking hole in the ground. It sounds like you just want my help to exterminate the humans. Charlotte, the humans are our natural enemies. We took you in because you helped us in our struggle. But the truth is, 
We won't rest until every human is dead. Out of gratitude to you, I won't harm you. But if you refuse to rebuild the weapons factories, you have no place here with us. Doctor, come save me. Please. Now, this would have been a lot easier 20 years ago. Hmm. That cave entrance was too narrow to get the platforms through. So, we're gonna have to use ropes the rest of the way. <sighs> Thank you. Just one more. Swan dive rider. Didn't think you had it in you. Well, one does what one must. Hmm. You all right, Doc? Just a little further. Your door is here. And there's the real key right next to it. Knack, that doesn't look much like you, does it? Not so much. <laughs> and behind the door, we can see the prize. Giant relics and incredible numbers. There's some writing here. It's not good news. It says that beyond this door is tremendous danger. It mentions a great transformation as well, but it's hard to tell exactly what that means. The rest is gone. Not what we were hoping for, then. Bugging the child's pendant was such a clever idea of yours, Katrina. This map shows the location of the key. It's in a maze of some kind. I have placed the key in a labyrinth of my own devising, in the hopes that only one with the wisdom to use it properly may pass the tests. Victor, I think he's talking about you. Yes, but where is it? The maze appears to be somewhere under Obelisk Mountain. <sighs> I always wondered what was hiding down there. Now, how long will it take us to get there? We're going there? Well, yes. The least we can do is to get to the key before Victor does. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Uh, oh, you'll be careful. That'll be the day. You do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, and no matter how crazy it is, no one ever tries to stop the Great Doctor. Lucas? Ryder, you'd stop me if I was about to do something foolish, wouldn't you? That I would. Come on, Doc. The ropes are waiting. Almost there. I'll start looking for some place to put down. We're too late. They're already here. Guess that's what the motor was for. That airship must be a mile long. Mac, I'm gonna need you to secure the entrance. Get ready to jump. There's
There's our key and our door. When the key is used and the door is opened, mountains will rise higher than the clouds. Huh. And the face of the earth will be changed forever. Kid, what does that mean? We've got company. We'll have to hurry. Can't let them get their hands on that key. You are tenacious, Doctor. I'll grant you that. Victor. And he brought a few friends to back him up, too. I believe the score is two to one. Looking to go best of five? Best of five? Best of seven? No. This is the final battle. We've come prepared. If they all can't finish you off, then this will. Think of it as a poisoned relic. It disrupts the arcane energies that bind your parts together. Not that we understand your arcane energies, but one doesn't have to understand something in order to destroy it. Quickly, into the tunnel. Thanks, Mac! This time, I want you to take no chances. First, get me the key. Then, destroy Knack. <laughs> It'll take Victor a while to break through that. <laughs> it's the key. We beat Victor to it. Neck, you think you can make that jump? Yeah, I think so. Once we've opened the door, carefully, mind you, I can begin to unlock the secrets of the ages. Once we've opened the door? Doctor, didn't you understand anything the cave painting said? You can't possibly comprehend what this key represents. I mean, the scientific benefits alone. Oh, I comprehend. It means the end of the world as we know it. We need to destroy that key. Well, this is pointless. Mac, go get it. Gotcha. Lucas, move out of the way. No. It said great danger. Why don't you believe it? Uh, the doctor does strategy. I do execution. The last strategy of the doctors ended up with us captured and you shot. Tell me, Mac, does all of this really make sense to you? Not so much. It's just like I said. No matter how crazy the plan, no one will ever stop the great doctor. Doc, the kid is right. Oh. Two against one now, is it? Doctor. Time to let this one go. You too, Ryder? You asked me to tell you if I thought you were doing the wrong thing. Look, a week ago, we knew nothing about the giant relics and we were fine. But open that door. Or let Victor open that door. We'll find out what great transformation really means. Could be bad. All right, then. Let's destroy it. Neck, I need you to take care of the key before Victor can get his hands on it. Mm. It's, uh... Just too dangerous.
Once I've delivered the key to Victor, you're all mine. Doctor, you head back the way we came. I'll go after Katrina. Looks like that rock fall has you blocked. Care to hand over that big, heavy key? Oh, this key? So sorry, but no. I do have this for you, though. <laughs> the path for me. See you later, if you survive. Ooh. I won't last long at this rate. Better find more relics before I melt away to nothing. what will happen if they use it. Coming with me. I leave Knack to you, Katrina. Prepare for departure. They've got the key. Well, we'll just have to go after them then. To the ropes. She's still alive. I'm going after her. We can't wait for you, so go! and destroy it!
Doctor, come save me. Please. Let's pick up the pace, Lucas. We've got the world and a certain lady to save. <laughs> Stealthnack is back. <laughs> yeah! Ryder. Uncle. What just happened? Everything seems to be in the right place. But they're on to me. No more sneaking around. I guess they were in a hurry. They forgot to put in the floor. There must be safety devices around here for the workers who built this floating palace. Aha! Levitators! These will do the trick. Ready to try them out? One, two, jump! Come on, Nack! This airship is heading straight for Trogdo Mine. Victor certainly isn't wasting any time. Interesting. We'll be over Gundahar's territory in a few minutes. Anywhere near the factory? No. We'll be quite a ways away. Unless I do... this. <laughs> Planning on going to rescue Charlotte? We don't get that key back. Bad things could happen. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> key first, Charlotte second. Uh, but let's hurry, shall we? After you, Doctor. We fought our way across the whole ship. The key's got to be close now. And there it is. And there's Victor, too. Let's do this. It's a trap! Indeed it is! Katrina is dead as a result of your pathetic interference. And now it's your turn. It's not too late, Victor. We can stop this before things get completely out of control. No one else needs to die. Enough! All our lives will end someday. If Katrina had perished in the achievement of our dream, then that would have been a beautiful thing. But she died for nothing! As you will now. Goodbye, Doctor.
Boys, leave these two to me. <laughs> Doctor, you came. Well, I promised. <laughs> Some very quick introductions. This is my assistant, Lucas. Hello. I've heard a lot about you. And this is Knack. <laughs> we were too busy last time to say hello properly. Charmed. My dear, I'm sorry to be in such a rush, but the world may end if we don't get to Trogdo Mine quickly. Are there any intact airships left around here? <sighs> This work. It was my final project for Gundahar before I learned the truth of what he was up to. Oh, but it's brilliant! Nice weapons, too. Those will come in handy. But, Doctor, there's a big problem. The goblins stripped this place bare. I have no relics left to power the engine. That may not be such a problem. Knack, if you would. <sighs>
Now we know what great danger in that cave painting meant. Yes. This may indeed be the end of the world. The transformation has already begun. Can we stop it? That giant orb seems to be at the center of the disturbance. Take it out. Maybe everything will return to normal. Giant orb. Got it. Knack! Good luck. Not to worry, Doctor. As you always say, I'm your greatest creation. Let's go home. Yeah. I can't wait for things to get back to normal. My boy, I think they may never go back to normal again. Come on, Lucas. Join us.
easy there, Knack. <laughs> and ironically, the greatest threat to our safety came from one of our own. And now, I would like to congratulate our three surviving heroes on preventing tremendous tragedy. Thank you, Knack. Thank you. Doctor. Uh, may I? I would like to thank Knack for his large, as some might say, gigantic contribution to our efforts. But I would also like to thank our smallest hero for his wisdom. Without his foresight, we would have used the key ourselves and perished instantly. Thank you, Lucas. And now, let us all take a moment to thank Ryder, who sacrificed his life so that we might be saved. Our thoughts are with you, Ryder, wherever you are.